Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your dose of zombies news from the game and community here on COD Zombies HQ. I want to thank you very much for tuning in today. We've got a interesting show for you. So getting right into our first story of the day, this one starts off last night when this video was posted by a Zombies YouTuber named Damon That Game, in which he says that there's very possible that a new easter egg step has been found within the final Reich in COD WW2. The supposed new easter egg step was this, when you activate the fire pit trap, stand on the certain corner, you pop out of it, and you see a signpost as you fall, you hold your action button, the signpost crumbles down as you fall, and on the ground is a brand spanking new blue ribboned Enigma machine. As you guys might have known, the Enigma machines are used for this step of the Easter egg, wherein you get a number from each Enigma machine, and then you have to spin these color-coded dials to match that number. So, for example, if the yellow ribboned Enigma showed the number 9, you'd have to spin the yellow dial to be at the 9 o'clock position to match the Enigma's code. Now, looking at these wheels you can spin, there's obviously only three colors. Green, red, and like a yellowish-orange. And this is the part of the story where it gets interesting. So, in the past, the community has found the spots where the Red Ribbon Enigma Machine and the Yellow Ribbon Enigma Machine can spawn in. But the community has yet to find the Green Enigma Machine. The method before this point was to simply put the Red and Yellow Enigma Machines to their proper times and then basically brute force the Green one in order to complete this step. But now we have a new colored Enigma Machine with a blue color bow adding to this equation. Where does this fit in? Maybe there's a hidden spindle, a, a hidden dial we can use to unlock a secret weapon. Maybe there's something more to discover in this map pertaining to this Enigma machine. Well, there isn't. I don't know what went wrong here. If Sledgehammer is just straight up trolling the community, if they just didn't play test this enough, they didn't realize their mistake, if there is something else more to find that we're not getting here. But the long and short of it is that this Enigma machine with the blue bow contains the number for the green dial for this easter egg step. As far as we know, and with the extensive testing done by several members of the community, including SmartGuy316, Unpunk, and many others, this blue bowed Enigma machine contains the values for the green spindle every single time. I have no idea why they decided to put the blue bow on this for the green spindle. That makes zero sense, especially when the other two are actually color coordinated. It's led to these awesome memes I saw on Twitter yesterday. It's 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 just like I, I don't know what they were thinking if this wasn't play tested to begin with, or if they're just straight up trolling us. But seriously, how do you let something like this that's so plain and obvious slip through? I, I'm I'm glad the mystery is solved, but disappointed it's not something new and that it's seemingly just like a troll or mistake on Sledgehammer's part. Moving on to the second story of the day, just a quick update for a portion of a video I posted earlier this week that's the 10 outside the map secrets in the headquarters. If you haven't seen it, definitely check out that bit. I really enjoyed making it. But in it we discussed the really obvious big untextured box that's underneath the map of the COD headquarters. I saw some people speculating that that could be like the location of the prototype of the zombies headquarters headquarters, that it might be some kind of zombies prototype waiting area that this player got into that we covered several days ago. Well, thanks to this comment here, we were able to get inside of this big cube, and it turns out it's as untextured and empty as it is on the inside as it is on the outside. So really no explanation for why this thing is here, other than that it's just some weird untextured test environment underneath the headquarters. But that wraps up this very weird episode of the Zombies News Update. I want to thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, be sure to smash that thumbs up button down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you with another Zombies video. Hopefully not another Sledgehammer Troll tomorrow. Peace out.